Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting radical exponential equation. Here we are going to find out real solutions only. Equation is square root 243 power x minus 9 power x over 9 power x plus 3 power x plus 1 equal to 10. So let's get started by squaring both sides. Now I can cancel square root with square. So our equation will become 243 power x minus 9 power x divided by 9 power x plus 3 power x plus 1. And RHS it is 100 10 square. Now I will add 1 to both sides plus 1 plus 1. Now take LCM of LHS. So it will give us 243 whole power x minus 9 power x plus 9 power x plus 3 power x plus 1 in the numerator. And denominator will be 9 power x plus 3 power x plus 1. RHS is 101. Now these two will be over. So it is left 243 whole power x plus 3 power x plus 1 divided by 9 power x plus 3 power x plus 1 equal to 101. Now we can write 243 as 3 power 5. So this we will write 3 power 5 and this 9 we can write 3 square. Let us write in our exponential equation. So it will become 3 power 5 whole power x plus 3 power x plus 1 divided by 3 square whole power x plus 3 power x plus 1 equal to 101. Now I will write one exponential property a power b whole power c. It is equal to a power c whole power b. So I can swap these two parts and I can swap these two parts. So I can write 3 power x whole power 5 plus 3 power x plus 1 divided by 3 power x whole square plus 3 power x plus 1 equal to 101. Now substitution time. Let us consider 3 power x equal to a. So condition on a will be a should be positive. So our equation which we will write from here a power 5 plus a plus 1 divided by a square plus a plus 1 equal to 101. A cannot be 0 as it is greater than 0. So I can cross multiply. So let's cross multiply. a power 5 plus a plus 1 equal to 101. a square plus a plus 1. Now I will consider our LHS only. Let's simplify this one. So I will write a power 5 minus a square plus a square and then plus a plus 1. From first two terms a square is looking common. So a cube minus 1 will be there. After that a square plus a plus 1. Now I can write a cube minus b cube formula. So a square a minus b so a minus 1 a square plus a plus 1. Then after plus a square plus a plus 1. Take a square plus a plus 1 common out. So a square plus a plus 1. In other bracket we will be writing a square a minus 1 plus 1. So I can write a square plus a plus 1 times a cube 
minus a square plus 1. This is our LHS. So let us replace this LHS by a square plus a plus 1 times a cube minus a square plus 1. So I will write a square plus a plus 1 times a cube minus a square plus 1 equal to 101 times a square plus a plus 1. Take all the term to LHS and take a square plus a plus 1 common. So I can write a square plus a plus 1 common out and in bracket a cube minus a square plus 1 and minus 101 equal to 0 or a square plus a plus 1 times a cube minus a square minus 100 equal to 0 or we can write a square plus a plus 1 equal to 0 or a cube minus a square minus 100 equal to 0. So two equations are here. One is quadratic, another is cubic. Let's solve one by one. So I will consider this quadratic first and I will check the discriminant p square minus 4ac. p square will be 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 1. So it will give us 1 minus 4, which is nothing but negative value. Because of discriminant negative, it will generate complex solutions. So we can reject solutions from here as it is complex value. Now let us consider this cubic equation. Let's solve and I will solve using method of factorization. So I will write here a cube minus a square minus 100 equal to 0. I can split negative 100 as negative 125 plus 25. Now can we write a cube minus 125 as 5 cube and then we can write minus a square plus 25 equal to 0. Now here we will apply a cube minus b cube formula. So a minus 5 times a square plus 5a plus 25. And here I will take first step minus common. So in bracket a square minus 25 equal to 0. In next step we will be writing a plus 5 times a minus 5. Now you can see a minus 5 is common. So let me take a minus 5 common. So it is left here a square plus 5a plus 25 and then minus a minus 5. Right hand side is 0. Or I can write a minus 5 times a square plus 4a plus 20 equal to 0. So conclusion is a minus 5 equal to 0 and second conclusion is a square plus 4a plus 20 equal to 0. So from first equation if I will solve then I can write a equal to 5. a is positive so we will accept this solution. Now from this quadratic equation I will calculate discriminant again. So b square, so 4 square minus 4ac, so minus 80. 16 minus 80 which is minus 64. Discriminant is negative, generate complex solutions. So we will reject this quadratic equation as we are calculating real solutions. So which solution we are going to accept? It is a equal to 5. Now let's put back our substitution. So I will write here a equal to 5. 
a was 3 power x equal to 5. Now I will consider log both sides. Log this side and log this side. Now let's write one property log a power b it is equal to b log a. So I will take this power as a multiplier. So this will become x times log 3 equal to log 5. Divide both sides by log 3. So x will be equal to log 5 over log 3 which is nothing but log 5 with base 3. So this is our final and ultimate real solution. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.